I'm Ian Gibson. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Intersect Australia. Intersect Australia is a consortium of universities within New South Wales. Uh, there's 11 universities in New South Wales, which represents around about 1% of the world's research output. And in total, we have about 15 members in Intersect. Our mission statement is to support research impact through technology. And so we provide a range of information technology solutions to support our members' research activities. We have high performance computing resources. We build a lot of online environments for researchers to use. We have a big software engineering team, but most importantly is we have a big storage facility. So this project is for publicly funded research. So this project is funded by the Australian government through the EIF program. It's a project called RDSI, which stands for Research Data Storage Infrastructure. The operating costs of the facility are met by our member universities. We also received a grant from the New South Wales government to contribute to the operating costs. We have around about 60 or 70 data collections. Every collection has its own story as to how it managed the data. Some of them had very well managed solutions, but they were all separate. Some of the other data collections were just held on the computer on people's desk or a CD on the shelf or something like that, completely unaccessible. To search for this data in the past, often there was nowhere. First of all, you'd have to stumble across the existence of the data by one means or another. I guess one analogy we can draw is recognising that digital data these days is equivalent of books used to be. So if you think of a large number of researchers or academics, the analogy is they've all got a small collection of books on their desk and someone has the idea, why don't we make a library and share those books? Okay, so everyone piles all the books into a central place, catalogues them, and then all of that information is available to all rather than everyone actually having just a small sample. The idea is to try and make the data as discoverable from as many directions as you can possibly make it. So that's in terms of discovery. In terms of authentication and authorization, some of this data is openly available. We're on the verge now of being able to do population scale genetic studies, which is something that hasn't been able to be done before. So you can imagine that if you kind of extrapolate out the big data world where we have a large cohort of individuals that suffer from a particular disease. They volunteered to be part of a study so that people can look into what's causing that disease. The real opportunity for this facility is you have all of this data in one place, run the computation in the facility, and maybe two days later have an answer to something that was not possible in the past. And these sorts of things have an absolute and clear benefit back to society. This is what I find really exciting about this facility.